Hello and welcome to my new series on Farming Simulator 22. This will be a let's play slash roleplay on Camsden Farm. Thank you very much to Oxygen David for the amazing map. So to give you a background, uh, I have set it up so that we have purchased this farm that was in debt so they had to sell off some of their assets. Uh, we've managed to purchase it. What we've had to do is take out a half a million pounds loan to be able to have machinery um, to operate the farm. So we've got the bare bones of machinery that, that we need to run the farm. So I'll give you a quick tour of what machinery that we have purchased. So we have a New Holland TM140, which is 20 years old. We have a front loader attachment on it and our bale spike. So this will be our utility tractor, very useful. Then we have our main tractor, which is our Case Optum 270. It has 313 horsepower, I believe. So this will be the workhorse of our farm. It'll be doing most of the planting, most of the plowing, everything like that will be done by this big beast that we have. Uh, it's a fairly new machine. Uh, we have our plough, which is a six metre plough. So this will allow us to plough our field. And we have our Case 344 round baler. And we also have our Kuhn three metre lawnmower for the front of our utility tractor. And this is our new combine. So we have a 7150 and we have with it, I believe this is a 28 foot header. Yeah, 28 there. And to finish off the stuff outside anyway, we've got a Roland Row Speed 6332, I think holds about 30,000 litres. So we'll be able to fill it with this about three loads worth which should be really helpful this means we can leave the trailer out and get it loaded up so we have the horse can't remember exactly what it is I'm not gonna lie we can go and look at what it is but i believe it's a nine meter cedar that can fertilize as well it also cultivates so that is why we don't have a cultivator um, it was the most feasible option when we were picking our equipment with the dealer down the road so this is our main uh, arable part of the farm. We've got our covered storage. We have the other covered storage where the trailer was around the other side. And we have our indoor storage where the cedar was. And then here we have our maintenance area. We do have some storage here if we need it. Uh, but this is our maintenance area. Now this is our silo and additional storage. So this is where we'll be storing our crops. Most probably our bales as well will come in here. And then we do have a very nice cut through here. So this cuts back through to our load point for our grain and we have our diesel tank just sitting here as well so that is the main farm where well, I will see you shortly at the next part of the farm so this is the other part of the farm this is our cow shed we also have a silo here as well for storing of grain and other products Another diesel tank that you can see here. Uh, this is our silage pit. And yeah, this is where we can have cattle. We don't have any cattle at the moment. So we have our slurry pit here. We don't own any of this land here. But we do own these sheds. So again, another great storage space for any small implements that we have. As you can see. And we have another one up here. These will be great for storing equipment down this way when we have uh, our cattle. 
another shed here, which again would be probably work bales actually. Uh, might hit might hit the rafters with the bales. Um, but again, small implements and things like that would be great in there. And we do have this great outside covered storage, which will be fantastic for storing bales for the cows. So we own field 15, which comes with this. From here. So we have field 15 with the barn that we've just been at. We have our main farm. We also have field 3, which has got a barley crop in it, which is ready to harvest, which we also have contracts for, uh, which I'll show you in a second. We have field 31, which is a grass field, but it is also a sheep pasture. And we do have some sheep, which we'll get onto in a bit. We also own these parts, which I think we're just going to sell because we need the money, as you can see on the bottom left. So we'll sell, I believe this is for horses, which I'm not looking to buy, I get any horses at the time being. This is chickens, I'm not looking to do chickens. And this was a undercover part that we don't need and the money is better for us here. So the other areas that we have are sort of communal areas, forests, up here, here, um, some scrubland down here, and that's about it, um, more forestry parts here. We do have the access to the biogas plant, because that is in part of the communal grounds here. It is part of the communal areas that we are allowed to use. We can use that production facility for a fee, um, but the access to the forestry is um, great. So we'll go to our contracts. So we have two contracts this summer that we need to fulfill. So one is for our barley, 69,000 litres of barley. We should be able to get that, I'm hoping, from our field. It is a large field and that would be an amazing sum for us to get. We also have a very small contract for some straw, but again, we're going to be making it. We may as well sell some of it on a contract. So they came up just after I purchased the farm. So we're going to just go for them. And then I'll show you our sheep. The sheep look very hungry. Um, so we have 40 sheep. We have some young sheep and we have some older sheep. All at the moment I'm looking to do with the sheep is to have them for wool production. I'm not looking to sell the animals themselves, just looking to keep them, uh, maintain them, so that we can get wool from them, so it'll be an extra revenue stream. So we will head back up to the main farm. We will park this up. I'm just going to put it here. So the plan for today Is to start on our harvest. To get this unfolded, we do want our. Let's check if it's on. Oh, we need to enable our straw swap. So I'm going to do two rounds of the headland, edge of the fields, whatever you want to call it. So we'll get that done. Um, and I think we're going to have to hire a worker to finish it so that we can get cracking on with bailing. So as I said before, we do have the baler that you've seen, a uh, round baler. We went with the round baler because... Mainly because it was cheap. Um, and to fit in our very tight budget that we had. Um, square balers are much more efficient as you don't have to stop, but they are also about 10 to 15 times the price. So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna suck it up with the round baler. We will get uh, the auto loader trailer that you get for the round bales. To save us a bit of time. We might have to lease it. I'm not sure that we have enough money to purchase it outright at the moment. Um, so if we do lease it, we'll want to make sure we do it all in one day. 
So I will be back with you once I get around this or we're having to empty. That's us coming to one full run around this field. We are at 96%, which I wasn't actually expecting. So even with a very low yield bonus, this field is um, extremely good volume on it. There we are, at 100 just as we pass one time round. That is brilliant. Pipe out. I'll leave it running and go and get our case optum. We'll see how full this gets us. Once that is done, I will park up and then we will switch over. So that is us full. Oh. I cannot go that way. That, that was a uh, back up without hitting our very expensive machinery. I just want to dig it off the field so it's not getting in the way. There we go. Right, turn you off for now. And we will get back into our combine. Pipe in. We can lower our header still lower, sorry. And we are off for round two. So once we get this second round done, we shall set the farmer off. We need to kind of look at what way what lines are going to be best, essentially. The widest part of the field tends to be the most efficient for our AI, uh, our AI or our uh, farmhand, shall we say to get it done and that will allow us to make bales but we need to be smart with making the bales we don't want to put them in the path of our farmhand just because it'll get in their way they'll miss crop and things like that and then after that well we'll start getting the bales done and we'll think of that and then after that the plan for the farm is yeah, there's so much that we need to get done um, for us to grow. The main thing though is getting this field done. We have our sheep, which we do need to tend to. They are on very, very low food. So we'll need to produce a few bales for them. Um, but today our main focus is to get uh, this field done and bale so we get those contracts honoured. Because if we don't get those contracts honoured, we will get charged. And we do not have the money to do that. So yeah, I will let this, I will continue doing this, I should say, and we will see you once we are full or round the back where we started. That's us coming up to the second round. What we'll do is we'll just finish it off neatly. Oh, we missed a tiny bit there, but we'll get it tied up 
to where we cut in. We'll reverse back and empty. And then we will set him off. On, we'll probably follow the lines that they've already got down from when it was seeded. I think those are going to be the best bet. So then we'll set them off there. We will nip out. There we go. So we're at 62% full. So yeah, we will get three loads in here. Uh, we need to deliver 69,000 litres to the... Where is it we're actually delivering it to for the contract? Farm Bay 1 at the barley. Okay. So this is our little old baler. So I'm going to try and not get in the way of our um, combine. So I'm going to start doing it here, just so that we don't get in the way of them. So if I needed to tip this, we'll be tipping it away from the combine. So it does make a decent size straw bale. That's going to be approximately five. Is it five thousand we're getting to? That's a, that's a good size bale. So we can turn on auto drop, which will allow us to not have to open it constantly. It's a great feature for an old baler to have, I must say. Pass, and then we're just going to quickly scoot back to here. And we'll do some more down here just to make sure that we're not getting in his way before we start doing our rows up and down. The last thing I want is to block a worker that we are paying with a bale that we have produced. That would just be silly. So that's two we've got so far. We need to get get this little leg bit picked up. Oh, just overcook the turn there. I think what I'll do is I will just do a time lapse until we get a, a load to take out of our combine. So I'll leave it on this and uh, I will see you once we need another load from the combine. probably take this load and just deliver it um, as part of the contract. This will be about half, well, almost half of the contract will be done with the amount we're going to get. Or we'll actually, we'll see how, f how full we are and just top it off as he drives back up. The cause is for 69,000 litres. I can't remember exactly how many, if it's 32 that we hold, so there we go, we we'll just jump out, get back into our big beast here, so we're 95% full with three loads in, so we'll just top this off and we will head to get this delivered. Right, I will drive this to the depot and I will see you there to see how, com how much we have completed of the contract. And this should almost be about 45% of the contract. Hmm. 
46 percent that's very good so we will have to annoyingly do a full load followed by a very partial load but see what the price is like anyway we might just do three full loads just just to get our money uh, but I know we're sitting at like 54,000 currently um, but we are going to have to release or buy um, other equipment so I'm just doing these top bits just to the, the harvesters past these now so we may as well just get these done as we go down the field just so we're kind of keeping it all like one side kind of done that's what I'm just trying to do not sure how other people do it if they, if they prefer just to do everything round but then you kind of leave the bales or pick them up as you go round as well I suppose that could be an option it keeps you busy in multiple jobs I suppose I'm pretty impressed by this um, baler it was very cheap compared to all the other ones the bales are a bit smaller than maybe other bales but we can't be uh, choosy with our equipment when we we're on a fairly tight budget and we did spend a lot on our tractor yeah, well, one of the tractors anyway. So we'll get a few more of these bits tidied up. And then we will look at getting our bale carrier. As I said, it might have to be a lease, because I don't think we're going to have enough to buy it outright. Or we might have to sacrifice something else to do that. So we'll get a few more bales done and then we'll have a look at that. We also have to tip our harvester shortly. I think done. Um, so we'll get in 12 done and then we'll have a look at the round auto loader, see if we purchase it or we just um, rent it. So it holds 24 bales, that's a lot. It does cost a lot of money. Um, I do have these, but again, they're quite a pussy. Um, we could manually load them up. Again, our, our fort is currently loading it, so I think this is our best bet. What is the leasing cost? Two and a half thousand. I think we're just going to have to lease it, and then the contract will cover the cost of it. Because we'll cover the cost of the contract, we might do a bit more. We'll see how many bales we get total. Because that'll determine as well what we're looking at in terms of cows this year. So we will... I think we'll leave it until we have all the bales, because then... We can get it done faster, we won't have to worry about... The... Costs of... The hourly rate. That's what I was trying to say. I'm just going to finish the episode up, I think, here, because if we were to continue to do the full harvest, um, that would take this video well beyond uh, the 25 to 30 minute videos I'm trying to make, even maybe even smaller. Um, this is my first one, so we're just kind of feeling it out. If you've liked what you've seen, please leave a, a comment or a like on the video, that'd be much appreciated. Um, let's us know that we're doing something right. Um, if you have any suggestions for uh, machinery we can use or things you'd like to see in this series, please put a comment down below. Um, that'd be great. Uh, we'll try and do them the best we can. But yeah, I think we'll call it a day for uh, this video. So thank you very much for watching uh, and I hope to see you again. Goodbye.